Right now on the CBS 3 News Live at 5, loosened restrictions. The adjustments Governor Tim Walz has made with Minnesota's COVID-19 mitigation efforts. Plus, with stimulus checks expected to roll out soon, we share with you the Biden administration's plans moving forward. And we tell you how St. Louis County plans on spending their economic relief money. You're watching Live at 5 on Live Local CBS 3. Welcome to the CBS 3 Evening News Live at 5. Here's a live look over the city of Duluth tonight. Just beautiful out there. Sun is shining. In just a few minutes, we'll hear from several city officials on what President Biden's American Rescue Plan means for the community. Good evening. I'm John Carnelli, and thanks for joining us. Kristen is off tonight. Today, the president and members of his party gathered at the White House to celebrate signing the new COVID relief bill. Meanwhile, the administration is ramping up efforts to get Americans vaccinated while setting a timeline to get closer to normal. Natalie Brandt is at the White House with more. President Biden and congressional Democrats held a Rose Garden ceremony to tout the American Rescue Plan one day after the massive $1.9 trillion COVID relief bill was signed into law. What you shepherded through the Congress not only meets the moment, it does even more. It's historical and they call it transformational. The White House says direct deposit stimulus payments could begin hitting bank accounts as soon as this weekend. Help has arrived for the families that have struggled to put food on their table. But some of the other benefits, such as the expanded child tax credit, won't be implemented until the summer. This week, the president set a goal to get the U.S. on a path of close to normal by July 4th, which included a directive that states make all adults eligible for the coronavirus vaccine by May 1st. Some states will move faster than others, and we certainly anticipate that. The Biden administration aims to more than double the number of federally run mass vaccination centers around the country, while also in increasing the number of pharmacies and health care centers where people can get vaccines. The administration is also expanding the pool of health professionals authorized to administer shots. This list now includes dentists, optometrists, uh, paramedics, physician assistants, and many more. The White House also says it will launch a federally supported website and call center to make it easier for Americans to schedule appointments to get vaccinated. Natalie Brand, CBS News, The White House. And since President Joe Biden signed that $1.9 trillion stimulus package, many are asking where that money will be going. In Minnesota, cities, counties, and municipalities statewide will get a chunk of those funds. CBS 3's Alex Libby spoke with St. Louis County officials to see where $54 million allotted for our region will be spent in the coming months and years. Alex, where's it going? The biggest difference between this time and last is the amount of money, the time and time frame they're given to spend it. I think this, uh, uh, the emphasis will be on supporting our, our residents and our business community, uh, as well as uh, addressing uh, county infrastructure needs. Gray added that another benefit to this round of money is the extended time they have to spend it. He says they have until 2024 to come up with a strategic spending plan, but he doesn't feel like it will take that full time frame to figure out the spending. Coming up tonight at 6, we hear from Duluth Mayor Emily Larson, who sees what they're going to spend their $60 million on that they'll be receiving soon. All right. Thanks, Alex. I'm sure many people are looking forward to hearing from her. Officials also say those stimulus funds will greatly benefit those struggling to find work during the pandemic. Duluth's workforce development says 3,500 people in St. Louis County are still claiming unemployment every week. The federal COVID relief package extends unemployment benefits and pandemic assistance through September. Elena Fauché with Workforce says the benefits would greatly help those still struggling to find work. She says the additional funding and benefits is a much needed investment in our community. There's a lot of individuals, a lot of small businesses have done everything they can to make it through the last year. Um, and they've used up all the resources they have. And so this will be just a really great injection to keep them going a little bit longer. 
Boche says 600 to 700 people call their office each month in need of unemployment assistance. The organization offers resume assistance, virtual workshops, refining interview skills, and more. They plan to continue to host virtual job fairs this spring. For more information, you can head on over to our website. Earlier today, Governor Tim Walz announced Minnesota is easing back on some of their COVID-19 statewide restrictions. The dial back covers many areas and will go into effect over the next few weeks. Here's a look at some of those changes. Starting Monday, March 15th, Minnesotans will be able to gather with up to 50 people outdoors and 15 indoors without household limits. Bars and restaurants will be able to welcome 75% capacity with a limit of 250 people. Bars will also be now able to seat parties up to four. Gyms and fitness centers will be able to allow 50% capacity. And youth sports that take place outdoors will be able to increase to 50-person pods. The governor says these eased restrictions are due to a continued drop in cases and vaccine distribution across the state. December, I asked you for a goal line stand, that we were taking the brunt of it. At one point in time, the upper Midwest had the highest infection rates on the entire planet. Um, you did it. And then we took the ball back in January. And I'm just going to say it today, we're beating this thing. We are going to win. And this is maybe not today the end, but it's darn sure the beginning of the end. Capacity limits will also be removed for salons, barbers, and religious services with social distancing still in place. And the governor also announced changes with indoor and outdoor entertainment venues as we head into the summer. CBS 3's Natalie Grant listened in on the governor's full announcement earlier today and breaks down the new limits. Natalie? Well, John, I'm out here at Bayfront Festival Park, which last summer sat virtually empty. But believe it or not, I know it doesn't look like it right now. This upcoming summer, we'll be able to utilize this space for things like festivals and concerts once again after the governor's latest announcements earlier today. Now, in the governor's address, he laid out a plan for indoor and outdoor events like festivals, graduation ceremonies, and sporting events. Starting on Monday, indoor and outdoor entertainment venues will be allowed to allow a 50% capacity with a limit of 250 people. Then, as we look forward to the summer months, the state will adjust guidelines for large venues with an occupant capacity of over 500. On April 1st, the maximum capacity for an indoor and outdoor venue will increase to 10,000 people, with additional restrictions depending on the venue size. This change opens up an opportunity for places like the Duluth Deck, who also manages Bayfront, to welcome people back to events this summer. It's really encouraging to think about what's going to happen at Bayfront Park, especially when you think that in 2020 there were 200 people in Bayfront Park all summer. So summer 2021 is going to be a great time for Duluthians and the Northland to gather at Bayfront Park for a wide variety of things. Reinhardt did go on to say that this capacity increase will have a large impact on indoor spaces of the deck as well, especially for events like the symphony and hockey games. And coming up tonight at 10, we'll hear much more from the deck on the excitement that was felt today as they anticipate a very busy season coming up shortly. John. All right. Thanks, Natalie. And now we'll shift gears to Dave with weather. Dave, we saw Natalie out there at Bayfront Park. Looked beautiful today. Yeah. What can we expect coming into the night? Fair weather like that will be with us overnight, and it'll really get fair tomorrow as the Chinook wind comes in from the west, 10 to 20 miles per hour, eating up the snow, warming up temperatures into the 50s for a lot of towns here. Doppler satellite map right now shows high pressure in place. It slipped in from Canada yesterday, and so it's starting on a cool note, but... That big westerly wind downsloping off the Rockies tomorrow is going to really warm things up. So we take a live look now towards Twig, Highway 53 and Kenosha Road. You see a lot of fresh snow in the median and on the sides there, although the road crews did a great job cleaning things up. A lot of that snow could melt on Saturday as temperatures go up towards 50 degrees, as I mentioned. So clear to partly cloudy tonight, mostly sunny through Saturday. Sunday should be sunny as well, but it won't stay 50. Will we go up or down? Frankly, can't tease you that much. We're going down, and I'll talk about how far in just a bit. All right. Thanks, Dave. Still to come on Live at 5, the Leaf Erickson Rose Garden is asking for community help. What you can do as we take a look around the region after the break. Get your news on the go. The CBS 3 mobile app. Did you know that 178 million Americans are missing at least one tooth? It's, it's true. true. That's why at Affordable Dentures and Implants... We only focus on tooth replacement solutions. 
Whether it's a single tooth, full dentures, or dental implants, we have an experienced dentist who can create a new smile just for you. At a price that's affordable. Because at Affordable Dentures and Implants, we want you to go, go ahead, ahead and, and smile. smile. The big 6% instant rebate is back. Hi, John with Prime Appliance, and yep, that's right. You'll get an additional 6% off in the floor price instantly when you pay at the counter. What could be sweeter? Get this Whirlpool 25 cubic foot black stainless French door refrigerator, regular price $20.99, on sale for $17.99, then get an instant 6% rebate off at the counter. Your final price, $16.90. We'll have our pros deliver and install or take it home today. Prime Appliance, it's the best place to buy your appliances. You'll love the road ahead when you drive the 2021 Subaru Impreza. Standard EyeSight Driver Assist technology gives you an extra set of eyes on the road to help keep the journey safe. And the Impreza is a smart choice down the road. The 2021 Impreza. More than a car, it's a Subaru. Lease a new 2021 Subaru Impreza for $219 a month during the Subaru A Lot to Love event going on now. Welcome to CBS This Morning. We have a lot of news today. Watch Gail King, Anthony Mason, and Tony DeCopo on CBS This Morning. Weekday mornings only on CBS. I'm Dave. This is Calvin. Welcome to the neighborhood. You mind if I cut in? I'm trying to spice Mondays up for everybody. Let's get this party started. Bring your what was that? I was expressing my enthusiasm. <laughs> The neighborhood. Watch, watch, Bob. I have a show around. I'm in. Boom. Hard to wrap my head around. Watch the bottle half empty. I started celebrating early. Bring your Welcome back to the CBS 3 News Live at 5. Here's a live look from Spirit Mountain as spring hours took effect today. Some people out there enjoying the hill. Great time, great day. Dave will be in just a few minutes with his forecast, but first, Let's take a look around the region. An Iron Range native has signed to play with the Duluth Huskies, and tree clearing work begins Monday as Itasca County gears up for road construction. All of that and more as we take you around the Northland, city by city. And we begin tonight in Itasca County, where tree removal along Highway 169 will begin on Monday. Traffic may be impacted as motorists should be mindful of flagging operations in the area. The clearings are necessary for intersection improvements coming to Marble, Columet, and Pengilly. The trees are within MnDOT right-of-way. More information and real-time traffic updates can be found on MnDOT's website. And next, we head to Duluth, where an Iron Range native has signed to play with the Duluth Huskies baseball team. Eli Sundquist of Chisholm will join the team this summer as a pitcher. He currently pitches for South Dakota State University. Sundquist says he has always wanted to play in the Northwoods League, and being signed to a team so close to home is icing on the cake. Games are subject to change, but the Huskies should take the field May 30. First. And finally, tonight we stay in Duluth, where the Rose Garden is asking for some help. The City of Duluth and the Lake Superior Rose Society are working together to get the Leif Erickson Rose Garden recognized by the World Federation of Rose Societies. They are creating a video submission and are asking community members and visitors alike to send in their photos, especially those that show the importance of the Rose Garden for our community. The Rose Garden would also be eligible to receive the Award of Garden Excellence, which is only awarded every three years. And if there's something going on in your neighborhood that you think we should know about, send us an email, and it might be featured as we go around the Northland, city by city. Still to come on Live at 5, we bring you an update on the trial of Derek Chauvin. How many jurors are now selected? Temperature today, 31 degrees. Cooler than normal, if only by 2 degrees. Well, we're going to warm up again come tomorrow. Maybe not enough to take down that record of 60 from 2016, but split the difference and hit 50. That's because of a strong westerly wind. We'll talk about how long it'll last coming up right after our break. Whatever your water worry, Culligan Water can help. With over 40 filtration systems, including the world's best softener, no one filters more than Culligan Water, the only water that comes with a van. Contact Culligan, the local water experts. 
Hi folks, Joe Namath here, and if you're on Medicare, this is important. You're now entitled to eliminate co-pays and get dental care, dentures, eyeglasses, prescription coverage, in-home aids, unlimited transportation, and home-delivered meals, all at no additional cost. Plus, your zip code may have coverage with the Give Back benefit that adds money back to your Social Security check every month. Look, with the uncertainty of the virus and vaccines, you need to get everything you're entitled to. Here's the bottom line. Call to get significant benefits at no additional cost and see if your zip code has coverage with the Give Back benefit. Millions of people have trusted the Medicare Coverage Helpline. You can, too. Call now. It's free. Call 1-800-916-5591. That's 1-800-916-5591 now. Mining. It's a part of Minnesota's history that affects everyone in the Northland still to this day. Join me, Kristen Vopke, every Tuesday for Eye on Mining. Brought to you by Range Regional Airport. Watch Eye on Mining with Kristen Vaki every Tuesday at 10, only on live local CBS3. Welcome to CBS This Morning. We have a lot of news today. Watch Gail King, Anthony Mason, and Tony DeCopo on CBS This Morning. Weekday mornings only on CBS. Link Rec is having a huge free indoor heated boat show. Save over $7,000. Now, the CBS3 Duluth Weathermax forecast with meteorologist Dave Anderson. All right, here's an interesting perspective. Let's go in tight and take a look at what we have here. And this picture comes courtesy of Hayes Scriven, who oversees Split Rock Lighthouse. And so when you have snow to shovel, what do you do there? Push it over the edge. And that's the view from the edge then. Oofta, I have to say that once in a while around here. You have to watch your footing while cleaning snow there in that part of our world. Well, if Hayes had just waited till tomorrow, odds are that stuff would have melted naturally because we've got a big warm-up coming, maybe only for one day, but it is going to get pretty toasty. Let's talk about current conditions at the airport in Duluth. Right now the temperature is 30, so today we came down in temperatures. Tomorrow we'll go back up. Relative humidity is only 33%. A westerly wind's going 5 miles per hour right now, but tomorrow that westerly wind becomes 10 to 20, and it's downsloping off the Rocky Mountains. It is the classic Chinook snow eater wind. That compressional heating is going to make it go into the 50s for a lot of our towns come tomorrow. Air pressure right now on the high side at 30.46 inches of mercury. Temperatures, yeah, today we came down a little bit, a little bit cooler than normal. Upper 20s for the Upper Peninsula. Wisconsin numbers go from 29 up north to 34 down south. The Superior in between at 33. Moose Lake Willow River, 34 degrees right now. And folks there are having a single-cylinder vintage snowmobile race tomorrow. But with temperatures in the 50s, well, hopefully those sleds will be able to handle that heat. Uh, from the North Shore right now, temperatures are in the 20s to about 30. And Iron Range numbers are very similar. Lows tonight, likely into the teens for a lot of places, maybe lower 20s, closer to the warming influence of the lake. And then tomorrow the warm-up comes. High pressure and control right now, even though it led with its cool side, temperatures down for the moment. Sky is nice and sunny and clear, only a few clouds popping up here and there, and then they go away fairly quickly as well. Tomorrow, the high pressure still holds on to us, and it also shoves in that Chinook wind from the west, so the result will be warm for our Saturday and sunny as well. Sunday, already the winds shift, become a little more easterly, and Sunday goes back into the 30s. Then come Monday, this Colorado low could bring a heck of a snowstorm for folks in the Rocky Mountains, but our high pressure likely will keep it to the south of our region. Then come Monday, you know, maybe some flurries is the best we're going to manage, so others will get the snow from this system. And most of our week ahead is going to be dry and sunny if not as warm as Saturday. Tonight, low temps in Minnesota. I'm thinking about 18 to 24, maybe even 25 if you go farther to the south. A little bit cooler up in Cook County, 15 to 18. Wisconsin and Michigan numbers should go from 15 to 19. And then for tomorrow, there comes the heat. Mostly sunny Wisconsin UP, 52 to 57 degrees. The normal's 33. Minnesota high temps, 48 up the Gunflint to 55 down towards places like Willow River. So again, hopefully those fan-cooled sleds can keep cool enough to race, uh, run that race. 
Ah, this week, sunshine wins the race for most of the days. The exception will be that chance for some flurries on Monday. It's only a 30% shot. And, John, if we hit 50 on Saturday, that's about the only day we do it this week because then we fall into the 30s to about 40, 42 then for the rest of the time. But, hey, you know what? That Saturday, tomorrow, we're, I'm going to take advantage of it. I'm going to go do some sort of outdoor, outdoor activity, maybe <laughs> a hike or something because can't get can't beat 50 this time of year. Well, some people will like it, but I think I'm going to ride my vintage snow machine on Sunday when it falls back to 35. Well, that sounds like a good plan, too. Thanks, Dave. New tonight, the city of Minneapolis has agreed to pay a massive settlement to the family of George Floyd. The city will pay $27 million to settle a civil lawsuit from Floyd's family. The lawsuit comes after Floyd's death in police custody. Floyd's family filed the federal civil rights lawsuit in July against the city. Derek Chauvin and three other fired officers are charged with his death. Meanwhile, half of the jurors in the murder trial for Derek Chauvin have been seated. That includes one man who said he has a very negative impression of Derek Chauvin. Nevertheless, he became the sixth juror selected. The man told attorneys yesterday he could set that view aside and consider the evidence in the case. He was chosen the same day as a judge restored a third-degree murder charge against Chauvin. So far, the jury is made up of five men and one woman. The six chosen included three people who are white and three people of color. Juror selection continues today. And prosecutors trying Chauvin plan to use a legal doctrine called Spark of Life. The goal is to humanize Floyd in front of jurors. The assistant attorney general says he plans to call two witnesses to provide the testimony. Spark of Life is a term unique to Minnesota that allows prosecutors to describe a murder victim's life to jurors. Defense attorneys argue Spark of Life testimony has nothing to do with evidence and allows prosecutors to unfairly build sympathy with jurors. Still to come, music's biggest night will air this Sunday here on CBS. How the Grammys will go on despite the pandemic. Coming up after the break. We were out for a motorcycle ride and all of a sudden a girl pulled out right in front of us and the next thing I know I woke up in the hospital. I was alone and wondering how we were going to handle all of the medical bills. We were referred to Schwebo, Getz, and Sieben because of their integrity and their great work that they have done before. At Schwebel, Getz, and Sieben, the most important value of our law firm is our commitment to our clients. I would recommend Schwebo, Getz, and Sieben to anyone that needs a personal injury attorney. Is your home or business suffered hail or wind damage? Whether it's time for a total re-roofing or replacement of your fallen shingles, call William K. Construction. Residential or commercial, we'll give you a free inspection and estimate. William K. Construction has been licensed in the Northland for 20 years and has over 30 years of experience in all types of quality roofing services, including installations, modifications, patching, and all types of damage repair. William K. Construction, serving Duluth and the surrounding area. Call us today or visit us online. You'll love the road ahead when you drive the 2021 Subaru Impreza. Standard EyeSight Driver Assist technology gives you an extra set of eyes on the road to help keep the journey safe. And the Impreza is a smart choice down the road. The 2021 Impreza. More than a car, it's a Subaru. Lease a new 2021 Subaru Impreza for $219 a month during the Subaru A Lot to Love event going on now. March is Women's History Month, and all throughout the month on CBS 3 this morning, we'll be highlighting women in history who have made a difference. So be sure to tune in every morning at 5 a.m. Watch Caitlin and Jenna in the morning at 5 and 6 a.m. Fire threatens everything in its path. When it threatens our communities, we respond. We bring the fight to the front line. The Army National Guard stands ready because sometimes the front lines are in our own backyard. We will always be there when our community needs us the most. Find out more about serving your community part-time by visiting nationalguard.com. Looking for a career in advertising? KBJR Television has immediate openings to be an account executive. You'll provide clients with advertising products, including television, commercial, airtime, and digital solutions. The ideal applicant will have previous sales experience, excellent communication skills, and strong time management and organization skills. To apply, send your resume to General Sales Manager Joe Biondi at jbiondi at kbjr.com.
If you're unsure about receiving a COVID-19 vaccine, we're here to reassure you that the vaccines are safe and effective. They've been approved for emergency use by the FDA through a rigorous testing process. And they've all been found to be nearly 100% effective at preventing hospitalization and death. Because of this data, you can be confident that receiving your COVID-19 vaccine protects you and your loved ones. Supplies are limited, so as soon as you have an opportunity to be vaccinated, please do so. Thank, Thank you, you for, for doing, doing your part. part. To end, to end this, this get local vaccine information all at cbs3duluth.com after a two-month delay because of the coronavirus the 63rd annual grammy awards will take place this weekend and if you're expecting at-home zoom performances from the artists think again donya backus has the latest from los angeles with no traditional audience in theater seats, this year's Grammys have been reimagined for the at-home viewer, with COVID safe sets scattered throughout an arena and convention center in downtown Los Angeles. I just got a glimpse of uh, Megan Thee Stallion's set. It's gorgeous, it's epic, it's like a whole thing. Comedian Trevor Noah is this year's host and says it feels like a music festival. It's been really interesting to see how each musician has found a way to tailor make their experience to what we're doing here. Harry Styles will open the show. Dua Lipa, Megan Thee Stallion, Billie Eilish and Haim are among the nearly two dozen artists set to perform. We're going to get out all the pent up, the year long aggression that we have on the Grammy stage. There will also be a tribute to music venues hit hard by the pandemic. Instead of celebrity presenters, employees from shuttered spots like the Troubadour in Los Angeles will present awards throughout the night. Women are among the top nominated artists. Beyonce, Taylor Swift, and Dua Lipa lead the pack. One person you will not see Sunday, The weekend. The pop star is boycotting the show after being snubbed. He's one of the most popular artists in the world. He's one of the most critically praised artists in the world. He just played the Super Bowl, and he doesn't even get a nomination. The Academy's interim president, Harvey Mason Jr., says this year, as in past years, we are going to take a hard look at how to improve our awards process, including the nomination review committee. Committees. But those who are attending say they are ready to get back on stage for music's biggest night. Donya Backus, CBS News, Los Angeles. And again, the show airs right here on CBS Sunday night and will stream live on On Demand on Paramount Plus Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern. Coming up on the CBS Evening News, tonight a vaccine milestone. More than 100 million Americans have gotten at least one COVID vaccine shot. Plus, Netflix crackdown. Why the days of sharing your Netflix password could be coming to an end. And CBS's Steve Hartman goes on the road to introduce us to the most unlikely Grammy nominee. That's all tonight on the CBS Evening News. CBS 3 Closed Captioning is brought to you by Essentia Health. March is Colorectal Cancer Awareness Month. If you're 50 or older, ask your doctor about screening options. We switch. I switched to Chevy. We switched. I switched for more room. I switched for my family. For adventure. We love our Chevy. I switched to Chevy. With an impressive lineup of cars, trucks, and SUVs, it's no wonder people are switching to Chevy year after year. I'm never switching back. Get a $4,250 cash allowance on all 2021 Silverado 1500 crew cab pickups. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. Mining. It's a part of Minnesota's history that affects everyone in the Northland still to this day. Join me, Kristen Bakke, every Tuesday for Eye on Mining. Brought to you by Range Regional Airport. Watch Eye on Mining with Kristen Bakke every Tuesday at 10. Only on live local CBS3. Everything that happens on a day-to-day -day basis in terms of news, no matter what happens in news, weather is always constant, weather is always changing as well, so it's still an important role as the meteorologist to kind of still stay grounded and to kind of just know that role and what to take and kind of just make sure you're delivering what's the most important for your viewers, but then also I like to touch base on the national things. All of those news stories also tie in with weather stories because they do go kind of hand in hand. Watch Jenna and Caitlin in the morning at 5 and 6 a.m. Our schools provide so much more than just learning support. The school year didn't start out the way that we wanted it to, but who's to say it won't be better at the end? We need to slow the spread so our economy has a chance to recover. So our kids can be in school and be on the ice. And we can keep our friends and families safe. For our students and teachers. For our essential workers. For the people you love. Thank you for doing your part. Go Hunters!
men's wardrobe provided by Mainstream Fashions for Men. Celebrating 30 years in business in 2021 with 30% off storewide. Downtown Duluth. Welcome back to the CBS 3 News Live at 5. Here's a live look from Canal Park on this beautiful Friday evening. Let's take a look back at today's top stories and see what's coming up tonight at 6. Tonight at 5, we learned more about Governor Walls dialing back on the lockdown restrictions beginning as early as Monday. At tonight at 6, President Biden signed into law the American Rescue Plan this week. And as stimulus checks begin to go out to people and communities, Duluth leaders offer insight at just where the money might go. And that's your news at 5. The CBS Evening News is next, and we'll see you back here tonight at 6.